Now let's get a check on the forecast. Specifically, we are tracking Tropical Storm Laura. Craig Setzer, what's the latest after that 5 p.m. advisory? Well, the next big advisory comes in at 11. I don't think we're going to see a lot of changes now going forward. The only changes will reflect if the storm itself changes. And what we saw this morning was a change because at 8 a.m., the estimated position was farther to the north. And then by 9 a.m., the hurricane hunters uh, found it uh, stronger winds and to the south. Now, the stronger winds was not a surprise. I mean, we expected it to be a tropical storm today. So uh, waking up and if you just heard, wow, it's now tropical storm Laura, that was in the forecast. The little jump to the south of the center that was a little bit of a surprise, and that was a kind of a surprise in our favor. A jump to the north would have been a surprise not in our favor. 45 mile an hour winds moving to the west at 17, about 40 miles east of Antigua. The warnings are up now for much of the northern Caribbean there, especially the north facing islands of Hispaniola and the Tropic Storm watches now up into the southeast Bahamas. Here's the threat comb. This is through the Saturday afternoon time frame here. And of course, this is going to be critical. We're going to be watching this. I promise you, I will watch this because I, I, this is all I do in this type of, type of year, this type of situation. I will be watching this very closely where the center is. If it is any better organized, if the center is passing over Puerto Rico, south of Puerto Rico, we would see that as a good sign. Bad for the folks here, of course, because it means a flood threat is going to be very high. Uh, but if it is over or south of the islands, then it's likely disrupted and will have a hard time uh, maybe even stay in a tropical storm. Now, the Hurricane Center sometimes splits the odds here. They say, well, it could be over the water and a bit stronger. It could be over the land and a bit weaker. So we'll go middle of the road here and uh, kind of a course of least regrets. Here is the Saturday night time frame. There is the Sunday afternoon time frame. By the time we get into Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, we'll have a good idea. Is this going to come here as a strong tropical storm, or is it going to probably stay to the south, or could it even be uh, disrupted in a tropical depression? Those are all possibilities, but this, of course, considers the possibility at least it hugs the water there. Here we are Sunday night, and then here we are Monday afternoon. Now, the yellow area indicates the tropical storm condition uh, area, and that's the area that uh, is most likely to occur in the Keys, especially lower, middle, maybe even the upper Keys. We could see tropical storm wind gusts here in South Florida, Miami-Dade, and Broward. That's probably the more likely scenario based on that advisory. The computer models... Hurricane Center is right down the middle with it. That's the outline of the cone there, and those brightest models, are, those are the ones that had the best skill last year. You remember the models shifted up to the north, then they came back to the south. Could they go a little bit more to the south? They could, uh, but if that center moves, and again, of course, the center's our start point, so if it moves or jumps at all, then all those models jump with it a little bit up north or south. We don't want that center to be jumping. And then it's more to the west-northwest out in the Gulf of Mexico. We're also watching 14. It is uh, still a tropical depression. Didn't get its act together today, moving northwest at 13. is forecast to become a tropical storm as it approaches the Yucatan Peninsula there. This is the Saturday, Saturday evening, Saturday night time frame, and then Sunday afternoon, Monday afternoon. Forecast to strengthen, but then weaken as it runs into wind shear here on Tuesday, heading towards the Texas Gulf Coast. This track has shifted a little bit to the left. In terms of both systems, there is the struggling depression out there. Um, Still not looking that organized. And there is our system there that we're watching a little bit closer to home. In terms of our forecast for tonight, it's looking pretty good. Summer muggies, breezy along the beaches, maybe a passing shower alone near 80. Tomorrow and Sunday are going to be pretty good weather days. So if we have to kind of ramp up a little bit, and I don't think we're going to have to, but if we did have to, then uh, the weather's not looking too bad. Breezy sun, a brief shower possible, high near 92. On the water, the breeze coming up. East southeast to 15 to 20, seas running 3 to 5 feet of moderate chop on the base. And taking us through the weekend, the breeze is up. Of course, Monday, the effects from Laura, and then back to normal summertime weather next week. That little chime in the background, that's an alert from the Hurricane Center. I'll check on it and get back with you on what they're saying.